My name is Roman Petri. I'm the executive chef of Rogue Girl Core here in San Francisco. Uh, it's on the corner of Jackson and Montgomery, just on the outskirts of the financial district in the Jackson Square neighborhood. Rogue Girl Core is a Japanese-inspired restaurant focused around a robotic grill. We see it through a Japanese uh, lens, so to say, and we try to pay homage to the Japanese culture and cuisine by utilizing the local products that we have here. The name Roka Kora comes from two Japanese words, Ro and Ka, which is a shortened version of those two words, and it basically means uh, it's a gathering place around fire. That's what we are. We have a big grill in the middle of the restaurant, the Robata Grill, and um, we want people to come here, be cheerful, enjoy themselves, have good food, good conversation, good drinks, and just be a meeting place for people. So robotic grill is an ancient Japanese technique of grilling. It originated from the fishermen in Japan, taking a catch of the day and then putting it directly on Japanese coals uh, called binshotan, simply grilling it on an open fire, an open flame, which just gives a lot of depth and uh, umami to it from the smoke, from uh, you know, the interaction of the heat with the fish or vegetables or meat or whatever it might be. It gives such an energy to the dining room. You smell your steak, your, your grilled seafood, your prawns, vegetables, and it's really fun and I'm very glad that we have that here. So the reason why I love this restaurant is, first of all, the presentations are quite elaborate. When all the food comes to the table, one thing might be sour, one thing is sweet, one thing is spicy, you have crunchy, soft, you've got so many different flavors and techniques and textures. So you can almost eat yourself drunk on different flavors. It's like in the end of the day, you had 40 different things you tried and everything was great. Some things that maybe don't make sense next to each other, but when you have it in a context, of eating at Roca Core. It's just an exciting thing. To me, Roca Core is unique because it's a Japanese restaurant not run by somebody who's Japanese. It's not a fusion restaurant. We have a lot of respect to the Japanese traditions. So we apply them to what we think is a contemporary version of Japanese cuisine, never forgetting about what the basics are. When you're here in Northern California, you've got the best produce in the world. I mean, why wouldn't you use it? You know, a lot of Japanese restaurants, they fly everything from Japan, which is great, but Japanese cuisine is actually local cooking. So you utilize what you have. This is why cuisine changes from village to village, from town to town, from prefecture to prefecture. We thought about what, what makes in Northern California special, and so we want to utilize as much as possible of the, the products that are available to us here which is Japanese in a way, even not everything that we utilize might be Japanese. But it was more about the true beliefs of Japanese cuisine, which is arguably one of the greatest, if not the greatest cuisines in the world. So the ambiance at Roca Core and the architecture plays an instrumental role to the restaurant and to the experience. We have a very nice communal table that's very Japanese inspired. We've got a chef's table, we've got a private dining room counter seating so if you really want to be part of the action you can sit in front of the sushi chef or you can sit in front of me and like see the rubata going on there um, which is definitely one of the best places to sit in my opinion. If you want to go out the most important thing is the company you have. So that you want to enjoy being with the people you care for. We're here to feed you good food, to give you good service, to serve you good wine, sake, or cocktails but also to entertain you. That's one thing that restaurants really don't do. It's, it's too stiff at times and too busy or too this. You want a space where you can you can have fun, you can let loose.